My name is Patrick Cranover. I'm the team, team leader for uh, drone sensors and mapping. Um, our project involves uh, using a sensor cluster that would be placed on a robotic drone. It, uh, is a, it uses IR uh, rangefinders and IR thermal sensors in order to map out an area that may be unsafe for humans to go into. Say, for instance, there was a cave-in. The drones could be sent in. Uh, you would usually send in multiples as in a swarm. And uh, they would be able to map out what had happened to the cave, see if there are any areas that were safe for humans to go to or unsafe, and as well as m find any locations of people that might be trapped in the area. Uh, the system would send all of its data back to a base station through uh, wireless uh, wireless uh, uh, signal. And then using that data, uh, the base station would be able to create a visual map of the area as well as any thermal uh, irregularities in the area. This would allow for rescue teams to be easily inserted or uh, and, and even after they were they could quickly find anybody that was trapped in there to safely evacuate them. The hope of this is that it would be able to save more li or allow rescue teams to save lives. So um, to give a quick demonstration, uh, this uh, the three switches on here they'll turn on the the different sensor uh, sensors in the different directions. They're at 120 degrees apart each, and using that as well as turning on uh, turning the entire uh, cluster using a servo motor, we would be able to get a 360 degree map of the area at any point in time. Turning on this final switch turns on the uh, <laughs> the wireless transmitter, so that they'll be transmitting back to the base station. The base station ha is just another one of these wireless cards that's attached into any computer that has the program running. And using that, as, uh, as well as the data coming back across, we can make a map of the area. As you can see, uh, moving the, the points that are moving in here and showing up come from uh, me walking back and forth in front of this sensor. So as I move closer to it, the points show up, and as I move farther away, they'll, they'll uh, back away from the center of the, uh, of the map. We have them working in all three directions, so you can get them uh, over, over here or on this side as well. And as you can see, they all show up about 120 degrees apart on the map. Using that information uh, as ranges for, from the drone, if we know the exact location of the drone in space using the using an IMU or inertial measurement unit, we can keep track of the drone as so we know where the range ranges came back from. Using that information, we will be able to get an accurate map of an area, as and hopefully be able to save lives.